Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm William T and today we're gonna make that. We're starting off in Illustrator and I've imported a picture of a kind of thread. It's been adjusted to match the real life size. Now I'm just retaining the thread just to see how I want it to sit on the wall. Once I'm happy with the position of the cone, I'm using the line tool to mark the location of the dial. Go to Object, Path, I'll set Path, and we'll, I'll set the line by 3.5mm. This will create a rectangle that's 7mm wide. This is what we want the diameter of the dowel to be. I'm using the circle tool to draw a rounded end for the dowel. Hit Ctrl Y to enter outline view for further adjustments. With the rectangle tool, I'm drawing the base where it will attach to the wall. Let's make it 1.5 by 2.55 centimeters. Now let's reduce the length of the dowel so it doesn't stick out. Delete the cone and that's the basic shape of the wall mount. Now I'm going to use this design and transfer it to a 3D modeling program. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can easily make this design out of a piece of wood and a dowel. I'll only be transferring half the dowel into Fusion 360, so I'm just extending the middle line. Move the block to the side. And then use the Shape Builder tool to extract only half of the dowel. Delete everything we don't need. And hit File, Export, Export As. And we'll want to save it as a DXF file. Make sure you set the scale to 1 inch equals 1 unit. Let's hit Ctrl Z to bring back the items we deleted for future reference. I'm in Fusion 360 to model my mount before it gets 3D printed. Full disclosure, I'm new to 3D modeling, so if you know a better way of doing this, let me know. And also, I'm not a carpenter, so take what I say with a grain of salt. So first we want to hit import, then import DXF. Select the plane in which you want to import the file. Select your DXF file and hit open. And there's the file we created in Illustrator. So we want to make this into a cylinder. Hit create, revolve and then select the object, then select the axis. Hit OK, and then let's move around to a front-on view, in this case by clicking onto the right side. We'll draw the base by using the rectangle sketch tool. I made it 1.5 by 3 centimeters. Hit Modify, then Extrude. Click on the rectangle, and then extrude that by 2mm. This will make the mounting plate 2mm thick. We'll draw another rectangle to connect the base to the cylinder. Hit extrude and then extrude that out by 2.55 centimeters. Now let's move and align the cylinder to the base plate. Now 
Sketch a circle with the center diameter circle tool. Click extrude, but then this time select the cut option. And that's your drill hole. Repeat the same thing on the other side. And before you export it out to your 3D printer, hit modify and combine. Anyone else like me who can spend hours watching a 3D print? Okay, so I'm using 9mm particle boards to attach the hooks onto. I don't really feel like drilling 200 holes into my wall. Quick coat of paint. Sticking on the template. And then punching in the drill holes with my pattern making all. Preparing the wall with some drywall anchors. And then screwing everything into place. Now let's load the threads. Oh yeah, so satisfying. I think that turned out quite well. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. That would help me out a lot. I'll see you all next time. Bye. If you haven't seen it already, click to the left to see my first major runway show. Click to the right to see a little bit about me and a little bit about my favorite things.